message on the occasion of centenary celebration of Dr. Sister Mary of the Sacred Heart Day Mary Lovi. My dear sisters, good evening to everybody. It is with blissful joy we the General Council greet you, the entire JMJ family assembled to celebrate the historic occasion, the centenary of Dr. Sister Mary Glory's arrival in India. That to our motherland. Our heartiest congratulations and God's blessings on all of us on this significant event. We join the psalmist praying, let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Certainly, Mary Glory looks down from heaven with wonder and awe, happily instilling in us a spirit of love, service and commitment. History tells us that in 1920, 100 years ago, prompted by the Holy Spirit, Dr. Mary Glory had set a sail from her homeland, Australia, by Orsova, on her way to India. At the threshold of the second century, we have every reason to be immensely grateful to God for precious gift, the Australian oyster, Sister Mary Glory, for the daring decision to be a first Catholic missionary on Indian soil and the whole gamut of medical field in ways unthinkable to present generation. She fulfilled threefold objectives, increasing the quantity and quality of health services available to the people of India, increasing the strength of Catholic nursing staff in our hospitals, and toil towards the establishment of Catholic Health Association of India in the year 1943 and a Catholic medical college which was subsequently realized in 1962. It is incredible that century has passed since her arrival, but the unique impact of Sister Mary Glory's glorious legacy remains ever fresh in our minds particularly on the soil of St. Joseph's Buntu and the surrounding of our words echoes even today the Master is here and he calls for you. She taught the path that God has given to her with faith and hope undying. A perfect surrender to God's holy design in her own words, it is up to him to point the way and for me to follow. Thousands have walked in her footprints and thousands will continue to walk for ages. Absorbing the pure and sanctified spirit, she breathed out for 37 long years as an embodiment of kindness, mercy and compassion, liberating the suffering humanity. Her soul was filled with God's sympathetic love and that is the treasure she left behind for us to emulate. Celebration is not only time of reminisce the past, but also time to undertake God's new task for us. On this auspicious day, as we all recall, the philanthropic activities a genius mind has initiated, we give glory to God for her great contributions to the universal health care. She remains as a crowning beauty of Australia, a visionary leader, a doyen of selfless service, a champion of poor and distress, an opposer of untouchable, a trailblazer and a trendsetter of a new enterprises in the health of race. The grand and splendid Mary Glory OPD block raised on the same ground where our would-be saint started her mission out of nothing is a rich tribute we can offer witnessing to her deep roots of simplicity and humility in our dedicated services and immense and fragrant power of love, selfless services. In the yester years, St. Joseph's Hospital Guntur was known as to be a little heaven for the sick and suffering humanity. We who called to the apostles of healing 
pledged today to continue to create same sacred space gazing at Sister Mary Glory, who stands tall before us as a royal rider in the kingdom of glory, beckoning to us to make God's love as the motive power of our work and breath, and to be the instruments of God's holy will. Along with her, we repeat, to thee, O Lord, I resign, thy will, O Lord, I accomplish. We plead God through the intercession of our servant of God, the Jane Jane Hasta, that we may like Mary Glory, so John on the path of God, be reckoned with a fiery spirit to bring salvation to the humanity. May God raise up to the altar of sainthood and crown the JMJ family with the joy and gratitude. Thank you. Have a blessed day. Reverend Sister Innama, Sister Chandra, Sister Mary, Sister Halsa, Sister Vijaya, the General Council. We also have a short message from Australia, written on 7th February 2020. Dear Sister Innama and Sister Mary, please could you convey to all involved in today's celebrations, remembering Dr. Mary Glory's arrival in India, a heartfelt congratulations. We will join you in praise of thanksgiving for the life of Sister Mary of the Sacred Heart and the wonderful work she achieved. We hope and pray that today will be memorable in so many ways. May God bless you all. Jane, General President, Catholic Women's League of Victoria and Baga Baga. Thank you.